Hi, I'm Hannes, I'm the Hangry German, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite side dishes, garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. All we need for that is five pounds of peeled potatoes, 10 ounces of grated parmesan, five to six garlic gloves, half a stick of butter, two cups of milk, salt, pepper, and a hint of nutmeg. Because I think there are better things on the internet to, to look at than watching me peel potatoes, I already did that. And if you remember from my schnitzel video, submerge the water, you can prepare it, easy peasy. First step is take our peeled potatoes and cut them into very small pieces. The smaller the pieces, the quicker it cooks through. I know this is not the ex most exciting part of this overall dish, but I can tell you it's the most complicated one. Now that we have cut our potatoes, we are taking them to our sink and add some water. Because how do you boil potatoes? In water. And as usual when you boil potatoes, add some salt. Now we're going to cook the potatoes for 10 to or 15 to 20 minutes on high heat or until they're nice and soft. Soft was the word I was looking for. All right, now that our potatoes are fully cooked, let's strain the water. Now that we have strained our potatoes, we put them back into the pot and let them sit for a moment. Put it on it. In the microwave, I heated up my two cups of milk. We are going to add basically half of it to it. Then we're adding half a stick of butter. And now we're giving it the first rough mash. Not too fine, not too much. We just wanna incorporate the milk and the butter with the potatoes. Now we are adding five to six gloves of garlic to it. We're going to add our seasoning, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. We're adding the parmesan to it and we're going to mash it again. And what you will see with the parmesan, it gets a little bit more firm and dries it out. And this is how it should look like. A little bit cheesy, but really nice and smooth getting off. This will go great with um, poultry, like with a turkey or a roast. Um, you can put it on a plate with some gravy and some scrambled eggs. It's very versatile. If you like mashed potatoes, it's awesome recipe and it has a lot of flavor. I can't stop eating it. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoy this meal. And don't forget to hit share, like and subscribe. See you next week.